Hey everyone, I'm Dr. Retro and welcome to another Video Game Finds video. I know I said it wouldn't be one for a while, but yeah, if I come across stuff, I just have to pick it up. So what I got this week or in the last few weeks starts with Team Buddies. And this is the Team Buddies press kit and the press kit just holds this press disc. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. Really boring press kit, but it's PlayStation 1. Um, the cool thing is that the guy that I got it from sent it uh, packed in this uh, paper, which is Star Wars. Um, how do you call that? It's not toilet paper, but the other one, the kitchen uh, kitchen paper. Also had the Team Buddies disc, but since I already have a complete copy of the game, uh, the loose disc is for sale or for trade. So if you're looking for it, let me know. Then for PlayStation 1, Japanese Police Knots, which is a game uh, made by Hideo Kojima, the guy from Metal Gear Solid. Um, it's unfortunately 100% in Japanese, even though the back of the box is in English. So for me, it's unplayable. Um, I believe there are uh, versions that you can download um, which have English text. But um, yeah, I prefer to have the original just because it's a Kojima game. want to have it in my collection, uh, even though I know I can't play this. Unless I get into a crash course of Japanese, which I really don't have time for. The cool thing about Japanese games is that they always come with a spine card. And um, if you don't have a spine card with your game, it's not complete. And I love that they often come with little cool extras like these stickers you see here. So this big black box has a little sticker on the side that you can see here. It says Batman Arkham Knight. This is the Batman Arkham Knight press kit for PlayStation 4, PC and Xbox One. And unfortunately it doesn't come with the game. I thought it did, that's the reason why I got it, but then it didn't. So if you want to see the entire press kit, check out the unboxing video that I will post in some time on my uh, channel. Next up is something straight out of my childhood and out of the childhood of a lot of Dutch and Belgian children. Uh, this is Amoras, which is a grown-up version of the Suske and Wiske uh, comics. And Suske and Wiske is a Belgian comic. Uh, it's about a boy and a girl and their family and they have all sorts of adventures. Really childish. Um, I read them a lot when I was a kid. There were like 250 different ones and I've read them all. And uh, now there are six new ones which are uh, based on uh, or aimed at adults. And uh, I have the whole set and I'm really looking forward to reading these and uh, yeah, seeing if, if it's as cool as the comics were in my, uh, in my childhood. In the Easter weekend we had the second edition of Dodge Comic Con here in the Netherlands. And um, I went there last year, really had a good time and this year it was great as, uh, great as well. Uh, there were a lot of artists, uh, uh, actors etc. But personally I don't really care about those and I'm definitely one, not one of those guys that pays the 25 euros to get an autograph of some guy. But I really had a good time, amazing cosplayers and uh, I bought some really nice stuff as well, which I'm going to show you here. These are three coasters, one with the Hogwarts logo, one with the Catwoman, and one with the Ghostbusters logo. And they go well with my Superman, Iron Man, Batman, etc. that I already have. Um, then this is something I've been looking for for a while, um, in the sense that I saw it at a store and I thought, holy shit, this looks amazing. And then I saw it again at Comic-Con and I decided to buy it. I got the Boss Monster um, uh, basic pack, which is this one, and the uh, extra pack, which you'll see in a bit. I got them together for 30 euros, which was a special deal. Um, it's a card game, dungeon crawler card game, and it's based on retro video games, as you can see with the NES box art and the uh, Game Boy box art for the expansion. The card I just showed you is an extra I got for buying it at Comic-Con, and they said it was a special card that you couldn't get anywhere else, but I have no clue if it's, uh, if it's really like that. So if you want to see how this boss monster looks, check out the unboxing video I will uh, upload in a bit. And then the last item for this week is something that I never thought I would have, but it's a Turbo Express and it came with four games for the amazing price of 160 euros. Bonk's Revenge, Final Lap Twin, Falcon, which unfortunately has a wrong box. It has a Japanese uh, box, not sure which game, but it does have the TurboGrafx-16 card and uh, front and Legendary Axe 2. So the Turbo Express itself is an amazing little device or well little, it's quite bulky and big. And if you want to see what's in the box and uh, how the thing plays, check out the unboxing video that I'll do in a bit. 
So that was it for this time. I hope you enjoyed watching this. And if you did, check me out on facebook.com slash drretromd. And of course, subscribe on YouTube. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.